Okay, let's take a look at the window menu here in the main menu bar. So I'll click on it, shoom, and it opens up, and we have a few different options that allow us to access uh, things that may or may not otherwise be visible. Now you see all these have hotkeys, uh, but we can open up the scene view, the game view, uh, things that are already visible by default, but we can also open up things that aren't visible by default. Things like the animation view, so I can click this and it opens up like a little window. Uh, or we could open up the light mapping view, and you see that's a, an entirely hidden, a different part to the interface that we'll be taking a look at in some uh, separate videos. But with these two things open, we can now take a look at next window and previous window, these allow you to swap your focus between different uh, stacked windows that you may have pulled out from Unity's interface. And you see they have their own hotkeys, so you can hit Control tab or Control shift tab to jump in between those. Yeah, it's kind of handy if you're working on a single monitor and for some reason you've clicked on the editor. And these windows have fallen to the back. It gives you an, an easy way to bring them back up without having to minimize Unity and move stuff around again. Yeah, exactly right. Now, down from here, we have layouts. This allows us to change the type of layout that we're working with. We can go with like a two by three sp uh, split, or um, I'm sorry, a two by three or a four split. Now, what I'm gonna do is close out some of these extra windows, and we'll just take a look at a couple of these. So let's say we do a four split, and now you can see everything just goes all over the place, where uh, we get a hierarchy view now up here and our project view down here. Uh, we could go back, and go under layouts, and we could go with the standard two by three. And this is the way Unity, I remember looking at way back in the day. Mm -hmm. That's uh, how I actually first saw it, the first time I ever played with Unity. And so there's all kinds of different layouts you can play with. And then we have wide, which is uh, the default layout that we've been using up to this point. So uh, down from here, of course, like I said, we have all of the different types of interface. And I don't really want to go into what each one of these are. It's enough to know that this uh, window menu allows you access to all of these different parts of the interface in case you close one by accident and need to bring it back up or uh, maybe even a part of the interface that wasn't already visible as well as a way to jump between them with next window and previous window and to jump between your layouts so that is going to wrap up this video thanks a lot